What's going on guys? It's Justin here with Summit Racing and we're here at the PRI show in Indianapolis, Indiana. And we stopped in at the Aeromotive booth to check out some of their cool new products and see what they have going on. So we have Enzo here with Aeromotive. How are you doing today, man? Not too bad, how about yourself, sir? Good, just uh, excited for PRI and to check out all the cool new products. So you guys brought some really neat stuff to the show and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about it. So let's, uh, we have some product behind us here and uh, let's get into it. Awesome, yeah, right here we got our billet filter. This is a 40 gallon per minute filter with less than two PSA I dropped to it up to that 40 gallons per minute. So for the guys with your big, huge mechanical pumps that want a quality filter, we've got you covered here with this billet. It's got two inlets, your outlet, so if you wanted to use a pressure sensor on one side, you could, or run two inlets if you can. Major, major upgrade over our 16 filter. This one is for the big guys with those big power numbers with big mechanical fuel systems. Oh, yeah. I love billet parts. You, just, yeah. uh, you yeah. can't beat them and they're super pretty. So, and you guys have a whole offering, you know, of filters and regulators and all that kind of stuff through Waterman. Um, are these, can you use these in gas and diesel alcohol applications? Yes, sir. So we'll have a stainless element. We'll have a hundred, we'll have a 40 stainless, and then we'll have a micro glass that's in a 10. So a 10 can be used in gasoline, E85, diesel fuel, pretty much anything to be in a micro glass element. So you can put this, you know, pre-pump, post-pump, wherever the case may be, it'll work pretty much with anything that's available out there. And that's super cool. And like I said, uh, fuel fuel system health and cleansiness is one of the, um, it's a very important factor. Oh yeah, it's great. It's what we call an insurance policy for that money you spend on your fuel pump. So it's not a bad thing to invest in when you get something quality like, you know, a 10 gallon per minute or a 32 gallon mechanical pump. You want to invest that money to protect it just like you did investing in a quality fuel pump from Aramid. Yes, and that's, like I said, that's important, and you know, everything starts with the fuel system. Right. So, you know, that is that is the uh, the base layer of the sandwich. So, you guys have a bunch of other cool stuff around your booth. Let's, um, let's walk around and explore a little bit. Sure, let's do it. So, we've made our way over to one of your new product displays, and you guys have brought some really cool stuff in the world of water-to-water -water intercooling. Do you want to run us through your water-to-water -water intercooler pumps? Yeah, definitely. So, we have our standard universal water cooler interpump. So basically what we have here is just three quarters NVT ports on it. So you can use your standard, you know, hose bar fittings if you like, or get fancy if you want to go to the AM fittings down the road. But this is your standard one. You can mount it in the truck next to your ice box, or you can put it on up in the frame rail, wherever you want to be. It's got a lot of options of where you can mount it. It's a nice billet unit, brushed motor. So this thing is going to run forever. Good quality unit. Um, then we also down below, we have our submersible version of our intercooler pump. So you can, they can drop this down in the cooler box of itself, so like in the ice box in the trunk, and it's gonna have high flow rates, more so over your standard, like a factory unit or just an off the shelf unit you can get. So it's a really good quality unit that we're really happy about and really excited to have released. Yeah, and this thing is super cool, especially with water to water intercooling becoming really popular in the last couple of years in race car and hot street car applications. Like, you know, we don't have to use our granddaddy's air to air intercoolers yep. anymore. We've stepped into the 21st century. Yep. Now you guys also have a cool solution for flex fuel guys and you know, running a flex fuel sensor and not getting a fuel restriction. So do you want to run us through your guys' neat adapter? Yeah, for sure. So we have the flex fuel sensor adapter. It incorporates the, the OE style flex fuel adapter that you can get from like GM units. So most guys don't understand that that small flex fuel sensor adapter, if you put it in the return line where most guys will put it, is it going to be a restriction in the return line, which is obviously going to cause you pressure problems. So what we've done is we've made a double seal billet unit that goes on each end of the actual quick connects of the, the OE sensor. And also when we have it here, you'll have a roundabout way to go around for the added fuel flow that you have. So you'll still get your sensor incorporated into it, but also be able to handle the added flow when you have larger fuel pumps that need to be able to bypass that fuel. Yeah, it's really neat that you guys have brought a solution that most people don't know the problem they're having with, you know, running E85 and that kind of deal. So, like you said, with fuel system restriction, the smallest fitting in the system is going to be your restriction. Yes, so, most definitely. Yeah. By, by bypassing that, you know, you guys have uh, came up with a cool solution to make some big rowdy horsepower oh, numbers. yeah, we're definitely all about solving problems. That's the biggest thing in Aeromotive is we find problems and we fix them. Heck yeah. So, you guys have some other cool stuff around the booth. Let's walk around and explore. For sure. So you guys showed up to the show with something new, cool, and kind of secret that you wanted to show us, and uh, we really appreciate that. So, um, you know, 
Let's, uh, I'll just let you uh, steal the show here and talk about it. Okay, so yes, I literally brought this here in my suitcase. So this is something new we wanted to kind of just give you guys a small taste of. We got our filter regulator here. This is for EFI applications. So this is an all-encompassing unit. It's one unit, so you can do the one and done kind of thing with your filter. This will be after pump, and you got your regulator. This is the EFI version. Eventually, we'll have a carburetor version, but currently, this is the EFI version. So you guys that want to buy it all in one and done, We've got you covered. Stay tuned and watch out for this. This is going to be an awesome unit. Oh, I can't wait to get one for my own ride. This is so much fun. It's going to be great. Heck yeah. So you guys have some big bad fuel pumps here that will support some absolutely wild horsepower numbers. Why don't you guys run us through these and tell us a little bit about variable fuel pumps. Yeah, for sure. So what we've got here is our brushless module for the Mustangs for the 2011, 2017s, S197, S550s. So what we've got here is a TVS version, which is true variable speed. So you can run off a zero to five volt variable signal, either with like a breakout harness if you want to get fancy, or you can run it just off like a normal TPS sensor. So what it does is that at, at zero volts, it's gonna run at 30% capacity. So what you have here is you have your normal brushless pump. It's available up to our five gallon per minute pump. So you can make crazy power mounting this into your stock tank in your factory location. So the guys with that sleeper Mustang that don't really wanna show off, but wanna be able to, to go fast when they can, they can put a five gallon per minute pump in their factory location, run it off a of variable speed for making a very streetable pump being that substantial of a pump, which is really a key component to the TBS setup that we have. Yeah, and this thing is really cool. And you know, that's what they say is if, you, if you're gonna race a guy and you can hear his fuel pump over your car, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, you know, so, you know, you know uh, something's going down. Yeah. yeah. So you guys not only make this for the Mustang, but you make it for Silverado applications as well. Yes, we do. So we started out with just doing your normal Silverado stuff. So we did like your normal single 340 pumps, triple 450s and stuff like that. Then we had guys who go, I want to make more power. We're like, okay, let's do it. So we have your brushless pumps and a variable speed option, obviously, that you can mount into your factory tank. As we get back to the sleeper option, you got your normal factory style tank. You can drop in there, incorporates all the factory components, your factory fuel level sending in it, everything. So basically, you're just dropping into your tank, hooking up your plumbing, hooking up your wiring, on your way you go, making stupid power. Yeah, you guys really have took the guesswork out of it because. Having a nice drop-in part is really important because the one thing we don't get more of is time. So if I'm able just to, you know, pop an old fuel pump out, reuse my sending unit stuff so I know where my fuel gauge level works, oh, everything yeah, like sure. all the headache out of it, you guys have kind of thought of everything. Thanks again for showing us all your cool new products today. And if you guys have any questions about Aeromotive products or want to order some stuff, head over to summitracing.com or one of our four retail store locations. And if you're not sure what you need or have some questions, call into the Summit Racing customer service line and those guys will be able to get you taken care of. So thanks again, Enzo, and uh, you know, we'll see you guys around. Appreciate it. Stop by anytime, man. Yep.